It was an 8-4 win for Brayhead Clan tonight and with a record of 1-4 and four is Joe Cullen who won Man of the Match tonight. Joe, well done on that tonight. You've certainly hit a run of form since you came back from injury. Yeah, no, things are going well and the team's playing really well and uh, yeah, it's just been nice to get a couple of big wins and tonight was a huge win so we're definitely happy with that. How big a game did you guys view it coming into this game tonight? Hull have been a team that have got the, the measure of Brayhead over the course of the season but how big a game was it? This was a big one for us. We knew this was a big one and obviously they've had some success against us and we wanted to change that tonight and um, it all started with our first period. We, had, we knew we had to come out strong and get after them right away and we did that and kind of had a little bit of interesting time there, but it was uh, it was good. It was a good win, and it was a huge win for us. To do it without Kyle Jones, Ash Goldie, and Ed McGrain, who have all weighed in in one way or another uh, throughout the season, does that make the result any better? Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's it's a nice little silver lining. It's nice to have that, but, I mean, we miss those guys. We know we're a better team, and we have everybody in the lineup. And, I mean, tonight some guys stepped up, and some guys that don't play as much played really well for us, and that was nice to see. It was a great win for Mike Will, and I thought he played great. And it was, uh, it was a big game for us, and it was good to see those other guys step in when they needed to. Coming in at the first break at 5-1, what did the coach say to you guys in there? I mean, things seemed to be going really well at that moment in time. Yeah, no, we had a good first period, so it was it was nothing much. It was not like it was a 5-1 game. We play it like it's a tie game, and we just come out and keep going the same way and try to make sure we don't get too, uh, too ahead of ourselves. So we uh, come out and try to play the same way the whole game. Could you got more more than five in that first period? The, the, their goalie certainly uh, certainly helped them in, in, in a lot of respects. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I didn't. Uh, I don't know, but he played pretty well. He made a few big saves, mm -hmm. and um, which is good for us to see that we you know we're generating some offense, which is what we want to do. And we've had some trouble scoring goals, so it was good to see us get a few tonight. And um, yeah, I thought since we played well, it was good to see us get rewarded. Penalty kill looked really good, especially in that third period. Hull had scored the two goals, bridging the gap uh, to three. Two five on threes. I mean, it's, it's all about concentration at that moment in time, sticking sticking through it and, and getting through it. Yeah, it was a little bit a uh, little bit dicey there at the end with the uh, with the penalties. But no, we did well. Mike Will again came in big and stopped a lot of shots. And uh, no, it was good to see we guys battled and worked hard there when we needed to and took care of the penalties and finished it off well. Joel Champagne and Kevin Bergen got a couple of goals between them. Could you have maybe get one or two yourself? Uh, well, I would have liked to. Other, other than the one you got, obviously. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I mean, I guess so. I guess I hit the pipe on the one, but no, it was uh, it was a fun game, and it's good to see those guys score. They played really well, and our whole team just was a, it was a solid game, top to bottom, which was nice to see. Is, does the game get easier, you know, given that you're playing well, confidence has flown through the team? Do, does it feel as though the games are easier, if you know what I mean? Um, you try, No, you kind of just try to play it like it's a regular game you really kind of have to just make sure you're working on things that you need to do you don't worry about the score as much as you work on what your game needs to have so we just kind of all try to focus on what we need to do to continue to be successful and um, and we did that tonight which was good two tough games this weekend you go to Fife on Saturday always a, a an intimidating place to go I think it's the best way to describe it and then uh, Coventry on, on Sunday as well four big big points isn't it yeah this is a, it's a big weekend here we're getting down to that time now where it's getting down to crunch time and we need to get as many points as we can and It'll be two tough ones here, two road games, which will be which will be difficult. But you know what? If we play like we did tonight, I think we'll uh, we'll have some success. Thanks very much, Joe. Thank you.